What's up guys? So I started my day driving to the middle of nowhere, going to a trailer store, and they literally had like nothing in stock. They like order everything. So I kind of screwed myself. I should have called first. And so now I don't have tubs for Drew's car and I guess I'm gonna have to figure that out, see if there's some other place I can get them. But it's a little late, it's a little hot, but who cares? We're gonna send it anyways. I think today I'm gonna start off by cleaning up the front of the trailer. So, so the whole nose frame is pretty rusty, looks like crap. And the mount for the jack is actually broken. So I'm gonna clean this up, weld that back up, and hopefully paint it black and put a new jack on it because I bought one because these are actually pretty cheap. So I just sprayed everything with some uh, penetrating oil a few minutes ago. So I'm going to let it soak, blast all these bolts off, and uh, get this ready for welding. All right, so all the big stuff is now off. Now it's time to get all the little stuff out of the way and start prepping it. So now it's ready to attack the rust. So I have a wheel on the drill for the heavy rust and I'm gonna take a wire wheel to the lighter rust and just prep the whole entire surface. It's gonna take a long time, but it's gonna be worth it. So. So the paint is prepped enough to make me happy, so I'm gonna stop for now. Um, I quickly realized that there actually is a pretty good coating on the frame itself to prevent rust, so I didn't want to take all of it off. I wanted to kind of leave some to help prevent the rust in the future, because I didn't really buy much of a sealer. But I'm gonna wait a little bit on that before I start welding and then prepping for paint. The back panel right here, it's so loose, but I bought new self-tappers and they're working pretty good. So I'm gonna self-tapper this whole piece back together really quick, just so it's kind of held up out of the way, and that's all done. Looking in the camera, it might not look like I did much, but putting in all these new self-tappers made this thing feel so much more dialed up front. It's finally solid before it was all flappy, so that alone was a big upgrade. I'll tackle the rest of the trim later, but for now, I think this is fully ready for paint. So now it's time to tackle the welding on the mount and then uh, ready for a spray. I'm gonna turn the heat up. I really should have a 220 welder, but this should do the job. Just a lot, a lot of heat and uh, hoping to burn right through it. So let's hope we don't light the forest on fire. So I got it all welded up and the beads are not pretty, but they penetrated a crap ton. So that is fully set great. So this is all done and ready to go. So I just prepped it quickly with paint, degreased the whole thing and uh, let's go. So I painted the whole thing black and it looked like ass and I wasn't really happy for it. And I know I said I wasn't gonna bed liner it, but I ended up realizing I have a can of bed liner in my shop and so I sprayed it and now it looks great. So I just sent it with the bed liner and uh, I'm gonna wait a couple minutes, do another coat, let it dry and I think we should be all set. I'm really happy in how it looks with the bed liner, the flat, this flat spray paint, not worth it. So while I was welding up the trailer, Brian Hall actually stopped by and dropped off my side skirts and DJ's wing. He's got to finish buffing my rear bumper, but then that should be here tomorrow so I can put my car back together, at least my kit. So I guess Brian had a problem with the side skirts where it fisheyed really, really, really bad. So with this kind of plastic, without any coating on it, it absorbs oil really well. So I think it just came out when he sprayed it, and so it caused it to fisheye. But I was eager to get my parts back. So I asked him just to drop them off for now, and the next time he does a batch of black, just to throw them in. But DJ's wing came out awesome too, so I can't wait to throw this on DJ's car and get my car fully kitted once again. I apologize, because I feel like my filming has been absolute trash today, but I've been really eager to get some work done on the trailer, and I'm happy. I just rushed all day to get this done before the dark, because I did have a late start. But it's basically all together now, besides I just gotta bolt up the harness again. Besides that, I love how it came out. The bed liner was definitely the better choice. It looks so much more durable and even, so. I'm super excited. It just made the whole front of the trailer look brand new. Besides, you know, the whole fade part, but. So I know a lot of you guys suggested this and I kind of actually really want to do it. I want a big, big ass pineapple on this thing. I just want to let you, I want you guys to tell me where I should put it. I'm going to print 
literally a giant one for my vinyl cutter. I don't know if I should do it like on the back corners on each side, just one up front or what? Let me know, because I think it'd be really funny. And what color too? Probably white. Actually, black would be best, but I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. So I quickly ran to the auto parts store before they closed because I went to go get some body fasteners. And I use these to hold my rear bumper on. I'm gonna use these to hold my rear skirts on. I'm gonna drill a chaser hole and then thread these through. Uh, I'm gonna mount each corner of the side skirt so I just know it's on there for good. I know it doesn't look as clean, but it's gonna work and it sure beats a self tapper. So this is gonna be a challenging thing to do by myself because it kind of sucks not having someone hold the skirt up for you, but I'll make it work. But I don't know if you guys remember, uh, I blew my side skirts up at uh, the last event because they were fiberglass and then KBD Body Kits sent me this pair of side skirts to basically try out and in, that la in the video when I first got them we basically tried to destroy these and we couldn't. We ran it over with a car like three times, Don did a body slam on it and it's right here ready painted. So these things are insane. I cannot wait for their full silver kit to come out. I'm going to put the link to their website in the description. So you can check them out. They have a lot more videos on their stuff too. If you guys want some reliable, indestructible body kits, take a look. So I'm really impressed because usually with fiberglass skirts, you have to cut the living crap out of them. I don't know if anyone here has personally done it themselves. If you guys have, then you know you have to trim inches off the fiberglass skirts just to make them fit correctly. This went on and fit perfect. No door scraping or anything. First try. It's insane. If you've had fiberglass side skirts in the past, you would know that like, usually a lot of the time they scrape on the door too, but these fit, look at that, perfectly. No trimming. I'm super impressed, that's insane. These aren't as aggressive as my last side skirts, I don't think, but since they're poly, I can kind of stretch them. And if I mount them on the bottom, use my inner fender and kind of pull it out a little bit and mount it like that, it'll give it a more aggressive look, so I like that. With fiberglass, I couldn't do that, it would just crack. <laughs> so I'm gonna try that, give it a little bit more arch in the rear by stretching it out and mounting it to the quarter and we'll see how that looks before and after. I don't know if you could tell from this angle, but it actually flared out a lot now. It's pulled out a lot more. So my rear bumper, I don't have it yet, actually swoops out very aggressively, so this will make up for it. So I messed up and I grabbed the multi-pack of them and I only have enough sizes in that pack to do one side skirt. So I'll have to do the skirt in the morning, but I'm really, really excited to see how it looks with the rear bumper. A little while ago, I went down to Justin's shop, even though it's late because the dude doesn't sleep, but he welded up the elbows on Drew's intercooler for me. Um, and they came out absolutely amazing. Three different thicknesses and three different sizes of aluminum and he managed to weld them together perfectly. Justin, thank you once again, you always have our back. That is Morpheus Performance, and I will put his Insta in the description. Check it out because he does some crazy work. So I'm gonna mock this up now. So I went to rough mock it up, and I realized it actually fits pretty decent. So I quickly just drilled two holes and bolted it together, and it's now hanging from the radiator support. I'm gonna make a lower L bracket, but besides that, it's pretty much in there. So. The intake piping matches up almost perfectly, which is awesome. So all I have to do is throw a couple on that and it's done. Now for the turbo side, I'm gonna have to cut this pipe up to get here somehow. So I'm trying to figure out a whole piping situation for Drew's driver's side. And it's kind of being a pain in the ass. Um, we have a bunch of scrap piping laying around, so I know I could piece together something. But the problem is we have to get the pipe up and over into here and run a blow off valve and run the the intake for the low pressure side and have the tub so if we put the tub in we're going to lose all of this room right here so we have to work in this skinny little area and so i have to figure out where i could shove this piece that hangs off so if i put it anywhere around here it's going to get in the way of the intake but i can't really put it up because it'll hit the hood so there's a predicament. So I know this doesn't look as pretty as you might hope for, or what I might hope for, but if we do it like this, we're able to have the blow valve right out of the way, and it's angled very nicely right at the outlet. So I think we're gonna mark it up like this. So I tried to come up with something a little bit cleaner looking, but with what we got, it's not gonna happen. So I have another angled cut, and this should correct the angle cut of this piece, which will then align it with the inlet right here. So I'm gonna deburr these, clean them all up, mark them, and then see if I can get these welded up. 
All right, so I just took some time to try and prep these really, really nicely just so it makes Justin's life a lot easier. And uh, I'm gonna try and mock it up so you guys can see. I'm gonna set the camera up on the tripod so you can get an idea of how it's gonna look. Like this, and then correct it with this. Essentially just like that, if you could even see it. <laughs> now the pipes are all marked, and uh, I guess ready to be welded up. So the trailer today took a lot longer than I was ever anticipating it to. I mean, it was a lot of work to get all the rust off, prep it, and do all that stuff. But I'm happy, and it looks absolutely amazing. Just one small part of it, and a, a few of those days in the trailer should look amazing after a while. I feel like I always say this, but I wish I could have got a few th more things done today. Um, I'm excited to get my rear bumper back, and so I can get my full kit on. And I was able to cut all the pipes for Drew's car. So now once those are welded, it's essentially done. It's gonna put the couplers on and clean everything up. As far as that goes tomorrow, I'm gonna to be driving my S13. Finally, I wanted to do it today, but then I just got, you know, busy and it was hot as hell. But I'm super excited for this, so I hope you guys are too. Um, but on that note, I'm gonna send it home. I gotta to go to Taco Bell before it closes because I'm hungry and I'm gonna go home and edit. So you guys know how it goes. So you guys know how it goes. Like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more content, and have a wonderful day.